Hello friends, my name is James. And this is my 1965 Alberg 30 Sloop Tritea. We are on a mission to sail around the world and see as much of this beautiful planet as possible. We are currently working our way through the South Pacific and I can't wait to show you everything we see. We're gonna head ashore and land on the Motu and walk over and trespass on this resort. Um, one of the cruising guides said that reports vary whether or not cruisers are welcome at the resort, so approach with caution and good humor. So we're gonna go wander around. Um, supposedly there's internet in the common areas, so we're gonna go look and see and just have a look and uh at what's happening over there until we get run off um so let's get to it My idea is to come in from the sort of the seaside so it doesn't feel like I'm a boat that landed <laughs> heading straight for the resort. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Oh, oh man, I can see a little black tip reef shark, a little baby. He's got his fin out, straight up jaw style. Let's go look at this guy. So cool. That's awesome. He's just by himself out here. I don't see any other ones. That was awesome. Yeah, yeah, all right. You can see the fish running. kingdom over here. That's why they put the resort by this Toa. Oh, here's a bunch of cool urchins. Look at those sharp boys.
also no success with the internet. You have to have a room number and a name and everything to log in, which I figured was gonna be the case, but I saw on some website that it said there was internet access. So I thought I'd give it a go. It was cool to see that resort. Like if you don't have the ability to sail here, that would be a rad place to come and spend a week. It's really beautiful. Now I'm gonna make my way back to the dinghy head out so we can cross this hoa shallow water where the little sharks live <laughs> morning it is 4 a.m. much to my dismay this is what time I wake up every day without an alarm um, but I also go to bed before 11 p.m. usually so um, it's a new day it's our last day last full day here at Tiki Hau and today we're going to casually haul up this morning and swing by the village, tie up to the quay, and um, get some more provisions from the market, pop over the post office to get some internet, and then we're going to make our way to the outer anchorage that's at the mouth of the pass. Uh, we want to be there so that we can leave at 5 a.m. tomorrow morning to make way for Makatiya. So, that's what we're getting up to today. Had a great, great time at Tiki House. This place has been amazing. A lot of great memories have been made here. And, um, yeah, so it's gonna be an easy day. Very mellow. But now, I need to stare at this coffee until it's brewed, and then I need to drink the entire pot. Tiki Hau thinks it's hilarious. <laughs> I uh, started the engine, walked forward to haul up the anchor, and it starts raining. It is almost only rained when I was hauling up the anchor since I got to the chateau. It's, it's incredible. And last time it's like, as soon as I got the hook up and stowed, it didn't rain again the rest of the day. So it's very funny, but we'll wait for the shower to pass. I killed the engine. Wait for the shower to pass, and then we'll haul up and head into the village quay.
got her all docked on the quay it's the first time i've ever had to pull up to a concrete concrete quay like that and dock solo i had to make the turn really tight i couldn't go in and then come alongside in like a comfortable way because the water like just at that second light pole is six feet deep and we draw 4.29 but I didn't want to risk the numbers being a little off and me run aground right in the mouth of the, the little harbor. So I cut it tight, but it was fine. There's these nice rubber bumpers. Helped me, I was able to get against that and then pull the boat in. But man, it is tricky to do that stuff solo. It was the perfect situation because the wind was blowing me off the dock, which is what you want. But um, still, a little tricky. Uh, now it's time for me to go in town and handle some business. And then we are gonna make way for that new anchorage. So a slight change of plans. I decided to stay tied up to the quay tonight. A couple other boats showed up as well. Um, it's a seven mile drive from here to the pass. So I was weighing the options and I'm like, well, if I anchor in 40 or 50 feet of water, hauling up by hand in 50 feet of water usually takes me half an hour to 45 minutes, depending. So I was like, there's an hour there. so. I'm going to split the difference, have the boat ready to go, not have to manually haul up the anchor at four in the morning and um, head out from here. We'll still be getting at the pass at Slackwater, which is 5 a.m., um, but just be leaving a little earlier from the quay. Much easier to just untie dock lines than to manually haul up 50, you know, uh, 200 feet of chain and a 45 pound mantis anchor at... Um, four in the morning is a bummer so beautiful here right now there's trivoli or uh there's fish fishing so the first boat the boat that's directly after tritea came in it's a solo sailor a frenchman he pulled in he was gonna anchor he saw me tied up to the quay and was like well hell i'm going to the quay doesn't speak a lot of english but i grabbed his lines for him helped him get tied up he just sailed in from the marquesas so this is his first landfall in a while. Um, nice dude. He has a hydro vane. He has a custom paddle he made for it. And I was checking that out, which is cool. And these other cats on this, other cats, other guys on this cat, other cats on this cat, um, they came in. They have like junk rig sails, like Chinese junk rig sails. Um, two masts. Man, the fish are going crazy. You see them? Problem is you can't fish inside the lagoon because everything has ciguatera poisoning or very likely does. So anyway, these cat these guys came in on this interesting cat. It has two masts and it's junk rigged on both masts. And they just sailed in from uh, Makatia today, but they're from Morea. Um, nice dudes. One of the guys is from Panama and the other two cats are French, um, but from Morea. So. Yeah, I'm just gonna have a nice chill evening. I'm making pasta on right now. I just topped up the diesel tank and um, get to bed early and push off early. Um, went into town, got some internet stuff done at the post office, picked up some vittles from the little market, but it was pretty quiet in town today since it's Saturday. So I'm stoked that I was able to tie up to the quay here for the night at um, Tu Hura Hura Village. And um, Excited for tomorrow's passage to Makatia. If you enjoy the content on this channel and would like to contribute, you can consider joining the Patreon crew. Thanks for watching. Fair winds until next time. So, that's where we're at. If you ever need to tie up to the quay here in... Uh, Tuhurahura is the name of the village. Tiki, Tikihura. Tikihau. Tuamotus. It's an option. So if you ever need to tie up to the quay here because this anchorage is, is terrible or you need to get some stuff done, you can do that here at Tuhurahura Village. Um, Tikihoa. Tikihoa. Yeah, fuck.